What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about the position modifier method. I want to show you guys how you guys can make some coins using this method, just like the chem style method. I want to show you guys how you guys can make coins with this. Before we get into the video today, can we get 100 likes? I said 50 for the chem style one, I want 100 on this one, alright? Drop a sub on the YouTube as well if you guys are new around here, enjoying the FIFA 21 content, market, trading, how to make coins every single day. Get involved with the Twitch channel as well. We're there five, six hours. And get involved with the free trading Discord. We will have a list, just like the chem style method, a full list of position change players you guys can use this with, with the different positions that you can use them with as well. Uh, and I'll do all that for you. I'm not going to give you the price. You're going to have to look at that on your own. But I will show you how to do this method in this video. So what you want to do is you want to go on a guy like Zaha, okay? Zaha on the market is 30,000 coins right now. Now, you want to take a look and see what his card is with a left wing or a left forward. Because his card is right now a left mid. So you want to look at left wings, left forwards. Uh, and there's a 3k difference there. There's like a decent difference. So what's good is that people don't look at position changes quite like differently. Or they do look at them differently than like a hunter or a shadow. Now, with a hunter or a shadow, people might be like very quick to buy them. Now, with this Zaha here, let's see if it sells at 32. You could buy this at 30 and under like that. You can buy it. That 32 just got bought, by the way. And now I'm going to put mine up at 32.7. And it should sell um, as obviously the market's going up right now, too. So it obviously helps me out. But right there, I just made 1.2K. Now, 31s, we're going to put that on my transfer list. I just sold something as well, which is probably Zaha. And the reason why this works so much is like the chem style method. It allows you to find cards that people just don't understand that with the position change modifier, these cards go for different values. Um, so if they knew that the price of Zaha was 30k, they might list up at 29.5. And for somebody, that might not be a great sniping opportunity. But for you guys, you know 29.5 is a great sniping opportunity because he's obviously going for uh, 33 or 32.7 with a left wing card. So... We're going to see if some of these have sold. Some of them have. 30k right there. I missed it. Somebody's on the Zaha right now. Like that. Oh my god. There's What is going on right now? 31k. You could technically buy that as well. Right? There's a lot of ways you guys can make coins with these cards. I have a list in here as well that I'm just going to show you guys. Did I sell my other Zaha? Did I sell both? Let me take a look. Um, I sold the first one, I believe. Um, and I've been doing this a lot with Nyingulin. Nyingulin's a great card to do this with. Um, the, the central players do really well with this. So yeah, I sold one at 32.7. Uh, and I have another one up right here that I bought earlier. He's at 33 right now. So I'm just trying to get that to sell. Uh, but this method's amazing, man. Like, I can go to a guy like Alexander Lacazette, okay? Lacazette currently on the market is 12,000 coins. And as simple as this, guys, all you do is go to FIFA uh, FIFA on Futbin, right? Futbin, sorry. You go to FIFA 21 players. You go to gold, or you don't even have to go to gold. You just put your price range in. My price range is 2K to 35K. Again, the reason why this works so well is because you're working with players that are not really that taxable. There's not much tax involved with this method. Same thing as the chemistry style method. There's just no tax in it. So you're making coins on almost every single card that you're buying for an undercut. So let's take a look at Lacazette, and let me just see what his price is right now. Let me take a look. Uh, I believe he's like 13-ish, right? Yeah, about 12K almost. So because this works so well also, it's just like the chem style method, you're trying to look for cards that other people are using for a link. So maybe they have a French right back in their team, and Lacazette is going to fulfill a link that they can get between the right wing and the CDM, who's another French right wing or something like that. So you look at Lacazette as a midfielder, and he's currently 14.5. Now, before obviously doing this, you want to put this up on your transit targets, but you could snipe at like, what, 12? And then you could see if it sells with a cam, with a CDM. And these will sell because they are always needed for different links to teams. It's just like the chem style method, but I wanted to show you guys the position change as well. This is great. You can use this as a midfielder in general. You could, you would do another filter. You could do center mid. You could do CDM. You could do cam. Uh, left forwards, left wings, um, right forwards, right wings, like that. That had a hunter, so I probably was not going to be able to get that. But that just shows you how insane that filter would have been. 
You could try to combine it as well. It's going to be a little bit difficult at this part of the year. But you could list your card a little bit higher with a position change. And you can lazy sell them as well. Let me see if this 14k is going to get bought. Because I don't think the 14.2 uh, got bought yet. The 14k did get bought. Okay, so 14 is getting sold with a cam. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. Now we're looking for 12k. Because we know that 14 is going to sell. Uh, did this sell at 14.5 or no? No, it didn't. Okay. So we're going to keep seeing here. If we can find an undercut. You see how like profitable this stuff is though it's like one two three or k three k a card it's an amazing method to make coins on you can look at any different card in the game if i want to get off of lacazette right now all right and i just want to refresh real quick um you know we still have the 14k right there this is just i i love this i can't stress enough how much money i've made i probably have traded with about 40 to 50 nigelins and i've probably made about 100 plus k uh and that's how good it is now not to say that you guys should just go on nigelin but there's so many different types of players to do this with. Um, if everyone goes to one player, it's not going to become effective because only one player can snipe the card per time. But if you guys can get creative and start looking while we load back into FIFA, uh, you can look at Immobile. You can look at Benzema as a cam. You can look at Memphis Depay. You can look at uh, Icardi. Uh, Ilicic. You can look at Aspas. Let me just put this verification in really quickly here. Right? You could take a look at Zapata. Moreno, Lacazette, Jimenez, Lataro, Jao Felix, Inaki Williams, uh, Rebic, Teixeira, right? Maybe we want to look want to look on a lower budget. So let's go to Alex Teixeira uh, on the market right now. Now we have 100 plus transfers. Let me see if those Lacazettes did get bought so I know for future if they did get bought. Um, they did. And this these got bought. Yeah, these got bought at 14. 14.5 never got bought or maybe it did. I took it off the transfer targets. But maybe I want to look at like Alex Teixeira. Okay, and I want to put him as a midfielder. He gets into starter teams, so a lot of people like to use this card. Not Alex Tellez. I want Teixeira. So let me actually just use this instead. Um, wait. Oh, it's he's got the I before the X. I didn't even know that. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna see his cheapest card, which is like 3.3, it seems like. Now, yeah, 3.3. Brilliant. So now what we're gonna look at is midfielder. Okay. We're gonna check a midfielder here. And we're just going to see what he goes for with that. So he goes for 5.2. Now he's not selling at 5.2. But to know if this card sells, you're going to see if he sells at that. Now you could snipe at like 3.3 and you could probably sell at 4.5 and somebody will buy it. But until you really know what the price sells for, what the player sells for, you maybe want to just be a little cautious just because maybe some players don't sell because they're just not usable or not as in demand. Or it'll take a little bit longer for you guys uh, to sell the card. So that's why it's always good to put on the transfer target to see how long a, car a card takes to sell before really doing the method on that card. There's so many different cards you guys can use this with. Like I said, in the Discord, I will be putting this method out to you guys and giving you guys a list of probably 50 players to do this with. Um, and that right there is a great buy. I hesitated. I don't understand why I did. He's going to relist this card probably around 5,000. And then what we are going to do is we are going to track... If that price sells, if that price does sell at 5k or something, then we know it sells for a minimum 5k. And as these cards are getting bought up, say 5.2s get bought up, then we look for the next cheapest after that. If 5.4 gets bought up, maybe we can sell the card at 5.4 now instead of selling at 5k. So there's always like different little ways to make coins by doing this. And just putting things on your trans target, seeing if it sells is one of the most important things on this method. You always want to make sure that a card will sell before you buy it. Um, so Tixera is not popping up, but maybe I want to go look at Rebic. Okay, this is going to be the last one we look at. I want to get one here on, on this video. So we're going to look and see what he goes for on the market. It looks like 2.8. Yeah, he's even lower than that. He's about 2.7. So what we're going to take a look now is what he goes for with a midfielder. And late night, by the way, oh my god, this is a gold mine. I did this with 29 Glens last night. Something within about half hour probably. About a half hour of each other. So it was there was like literally nobody on the filter. There's probably maybe one or two people. But if you're quick with it, oh man, this method is is golden. Especially with these low rated cards. I feel like a lot of these low rated guys late night, um, it's insane to do this method with. Now during the daytime, you're gonna have a lot of um you're gonna have a lot of like competition on this because people do know about the chemistry style method, they do know about position changes. But it's still worth your time because even if you buy one or two, that's still about four to five K profit. And, you know, this is one of the most effective ways to make coins, in my opinion. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to sit on here until we can get one. You guys can also look for bids, like I said earlier in the video. Look at, you know, as you're on here, see if you can find any cards that have bids. Open bids late. You know, late in the nighttime, you can always look at bids and they'll probably go through. Um, last night I was doing it with Sancho a little bit. I was getting Sancho's at like 27, which is ridiculous. But he was selling for like 31, 32 at the time. And it just seems like late night NA, like in about four hours from now, which is. 11, it's 11 p.m. my time when the stuff usually drops like that, but right now it's 7, and the market's quite rare right now. That's when the market's up, because the NA's still on buying, and then the market, um, there's not enough supply to withhold the demand, and that's why the market's up more now. Now, in 2-3 hours' time, some of those NA guys might get off, right? So that's really good. Yes, let's fucking go. Alright, I just want to show you guys on here. Uh, I'm going to have to bleep that out. I don't know if YouTube's going to copyright strike me. I don't know. But uh, we're going to put this up at 4.5, and it's going to sell. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, yeah, that's really, really good, actually. So that shows you. Oh, my, no. I'm going to miss that. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got that, too. Wow. Rebich is actually insane. Okay, this is really good. I can put that up at 4.5 as well. But you guys are seeing how this works, man. This is insane with if there's a price difference man you guys got to be looking out for this stuff i mean any player works i just showed you rebic rebic works now rebic will sell probably um hopefully over the next like hour i think i'll sell them pretty quickly they're a couple hundred coin undercuts so as long as somebody needs rebic for their team with a cam uh that is brilliant for me um let me see if they're gonna sell cdm there and then a cam so actually there's two different filters there. You could look at CDM Rebich, or you could look at Cam Rebich. And, you know, you could look at two different filters if you want to. Or you can just have the full thing as a midfielder. And that's why you guys look for left wings, left forwards, for the uh, left mid guys, for the right mid guys, right forward, right wing, for the center, sh for the strikers, the, stri uh, the center forwards, or strikers, sorry. I'm getting mixed up with my words now. Talk too much today. Uh, you're going to want to look at midfielders. Midfielders, you want, you're going to want to look at cams go to CDMs or center mids go to CDMs and stuff like that. Like a guy like Nine Glenn's a cam, but he sells for a different price with a CDM. And that's how this that's how this method works. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video today. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.